Understanding the different type of events in AMP is very important, and there are multiple reasons why an event is generated. Among the popular events types are detected threats, indications of compromise, quarantine status, product updates, among others. And there are many other types of events generated after every action that AMP for Endpoint takes. Having knowledge of the most important ones is key to have a quicker time to respond. And let's see them in action. The first thing I want to bring your attention to is the Inbox tab. AMP for Endpoints comes with a convenient way to group the critical events into an easy workflow. You can view the cases that require your attention and the unattended cases are listed here. To start working on them, you need to click on the checkbox and click Begin to work. This event will move to the In Progress tab where you can start working on it. You can take some actions on the machine, like isolate it from the rest of the network, scanning it, check the events, check the device trajectory, move the machine into an end specific group, and then once you took the actions, you can mark this case as resolved. Once you do that, the case will be moved to the resolve tab. And you can carry on working on the remaining cases. As you can see, the inbox of the events are grouped by devices, and devices can generate multiple events. To see all the events, you can go to the Events tab. An AMP comes with a powerful filter. You can filter based on event types, and here you see all the different event categories that I was mentioning before. You can filter as well based on the time range. Sort them out based on specific parameters. And also you can export all the filtered events into a CSV file. It is a good practice to enable the detected threats category notification via email. And the steps to configure that are very simple. If we click on the detected threats category, we see it will auto-populate all the threats detected in my environment. You can select to notify it immediately, in an hourly, daily, weekly or monthly basis. I will select Immediate Digest and then save the report. And now, every time an event happens, I will immediately be notified via email. 